But today we knew that we had the eyes of the world on us and it had to work. So it was a fantastic moment when this afternoon at just after one o'clock our time we had those first collisions recorded. And it continued being fantastic. The beam stayed in for about three hours and the experiments had recorded the best part of half a million collisions by the time um, that run came to an end. The significance of today is that we, we were colliding beams at three and a half times the energy of the previous world record holding machine. And that gives us just a much bigger reach into potential new discoveries in physics. Um, it takes a lot of patience. It's a transition day today. We've gone from a phase of constructing this machine, which began in 1994, before even, if you like, with the prototyping phases, to um, an operation phase, which is going to last about 15, 20 years as well. So patience is the key word when you're doing this kind of research. What we do is we take tiny particles, protons, we smash them together and we observe what happens, what comes out. New particles come out from these collisions and we record those. And from recording those, we can tell what actually happened in the original collision. Sometimes, in very f rare cases, interesting new physics will come out of those collisions, interesting new physics that can tell us about what the dark matter of the universe is. That's 25% of the universe out there that we call dark matter. We don't know what it is. We know it's there because we see how it influences all the visible stuff out there. Um, or it might tell us about this thing called the Higgs particle. You may have heard of it referred to as the God particle, that some people have called it, which is a thing that we've been looking for or, or in, in physics for a very long time. Uh, it's a thing that's responsible for generating mass in certain particles. And, you know, mass is a very fundamental thing. If you've ever stood on the scales, you'll know that. But from a physics perspective, we have a theory explaining what it is, but we have no recorded experimental evidence for that yet. So that's another thing we're looking for. And that's what comes out of these collisions. But these processes are quite rare. And to really get a handle on them, you need to record literally millions of these collisions. So today it was a great start, but we've got a long, long way to go before we can start announcing new uh, physics results. Mm -hmm.